When we say micromission, we're looking at being released as the people of God to take the gospel to the communities we're based in. It's a lot less about programs and uh, big church-centered events, but you and I, sensing what the Holy Spirit has given us as a call to reach our community and our street and our neighborhood with the gospel. It's a mindset which actually means that we are saying to one another, you are equipped by the Holy Spirit to reach your community. And we believe that God is releasing Hope Church in this season to be a people on mission where they are living and working. There's a big difference between additional growth and multiplicational growth. And I guess when we say micro-mission, what we're believing and looking for is a releasing of everyone in the church to go on mission. When we have additional growth, our focus is on central-run programs. Let me give you an example. When we do Alpha, we say to come to a venue, invite your friends on a particular night, and will you come and help us make that happen? That's additional growth. You're relying on me and the church organising that. But a multiplicational approach, a micro-missional approach, is saying to you and I as believers, who are in your world that you could do an alpha course with? And then giving you the tools to achieve that. But more than that, more than just using the online videos and saying to your friends, either on Zoom or in your home, let's watch this together. We also then add someone to support you in that. It's about being on mission together, looking for multiplicational growth and not just additional growth. Alpha Online has completely blown us away. I mean, it's completely blown us away. We've had over 1,600 people do Alpha Online. So that's 120 groups with hundreds of people's lives being transformed. Now, that is by far the most that we have ever had. And that's only at little old HTB. Across the UK now, there's been over 1,300 churches that have run Alpha Online. So that means there's thousands of people's friends, family members, colleagues that have come to faith in Jesus, experienced the Holy Spirit, and are now being plugged into the church. Hi everybody, it's Olivier Giroud. Um, I did Alpha Online uh, these last two months. And I have to say it was a great experience, a fantastic experience uh, to share my faith with uh, friends I invited uh, to do Alpha. Uh, and yeah, share your faith, not uh, in a threatening way. I, I really enjoyed it. And I'm pleased that my friends could uh, enjoy it. Well, first of all, it starts by you and I praying. It's about saying to the Lord, what have you called me to do in my community, in my uh, sphere of influence? And then saying, Lord, what does that look like? What does that look like? For some of us, that may look like running an alpha course. You see, previously we had run them at the centre, but now we want to equip you to run them in your homes. It may look like that you are going to um, have a social activity where you gather some friends to build some friendship, but in that, you're having a mission heart. Or it could be a social action project where you're meeting a need in our community. And what we want you to do is pray about that and then to talk to us about it. And we're going to structure that. We're going to have a form where you will express what is on your heart. And then you can say to us, Tony, this is what I need to achieve this. We as a church will want to put aside a large sum of money, thousands of pounds even, to release mission amongst us. So if that needs resource, then we want to talk to you about that. And then we want to go further. We want to give you a mentor to help you in that. 
so that we don't just set you off on a, on a course, but we're there praying with you, encouraging you, being with you in the midst of this mission. But the difference is, it's multiplicational. All of us at work. And in this season where God is going to use our homes and smaller community settings, we believe he's created a space for the church to take the gospel with both power, authenticity, but care and compassion. Yeah, amazing. So I've got a big heart for football and bringing people together. And a couple of years ago, literally five or six of us from church thought it would be a good idea to play football together. And uh, a couple of years later, we've now got up to 50 people uh, joining the team. So yeah, it's been class. Yeah, I'd love to. So as this team started to grow from five or six to 10 and 20, my heart will see Monday evenings bringing people together, uh, bringing Christian guys from different, across the congregations, uh, inviting friends. And it's growing something so exciting. We've now got a group playing on Saturday. And really the heart is to bring the church together, uh, bring people into church and to create a place uh, where people like playing together. Yeah, sure. So I'd love the church to get involved in three ways. Uh, the first way, come and play. Come and join us. This is a really inclusive session. We'd love for you to join us. The second way is can you stand with us in prayer? I would love for you to come and pray with us. Stand with us in prayer as these guys come and play each Monday and each Saturday that we are such an example of what it means to know Jesus and to share that on and off the pitch. And the third way, we're a club. All of our costs are upfront costs. We want to do events we can invite friends to. Uh, so if you can support us financially, that will help people that can't afford to play football to come and play, make it an inclusive session and it will be incredible for the team. Okay, so um, I'm Luke Hines. Um, I go to Christ Central in Penge, um, formerly known as Penge Family Church. I've been going there all my life. Um, I used to play for the football team down there. Um, well, roughly around the time I had with my had my kids, I kind of put football on the back burner. Um, and Kwamina recently um, jumped up with uh, with Jonathan, and I've I've known them for a little while now, and they they said they've started up a, a football team. I hope United. And I came down and I've, I've never looked to go anywhere else. So I just, I've been, I've played for a number of different teams before. Um, all of them kind of church teams. Um, but what Hope do and what, what Hope has is a Christ first um, feel to it. It's really God is the centre of it all. And no matter if there's Christians that come along or non-Christians, sometimes I don't even know if someone's a non-Christian because the, the Christians have set the tone as encouraging others, loving on others and being with one another as, as a brotherhood. And I've never experienced anything like it before and I, I absolutely love it. In the future, well, I feel like it can continue the way it started. Um, I've met so many people here, so many brothers in Christ, and um, I feel like it would be a good place for me to, you know, bring other people that love football into the club. You know, with, with, with 50 plus people here already, I see it growing massively. So it's a really good way for people to really be reached. Here are some ways on how to give. The best way for us is by direct bank transfer. Please reference the new era offering. Alternatively, you can make a pledge. Again, please reference the new era offering. If you have any questions about making a pledge or you need the church bank details, please email david.dell at hopechurchuk.org. For all the other ways that you can give, please visit our website www.hopechurchuk.org forward slash new era offering.